welcome to Mad Duck and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We're gonna have a great time today. We got the grills fired up, Mad Dog's fired up, Merrill's fired I up, am. and Fast Freddy on the keyboard, he's fired up. He's always fired up. So you up. folks sit back, relax for another great half hour of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling, including Kohlrabi on the grill. Robbie! Robbie on the grill! Robbie! Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix and Profire Grills, Cherry Delight, Native American Tourism of Wisconsin, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, No Name Butcher Quality Meats, Sun Drop Soda, The Oneida Nation, Glorious Malone Fine Sausage, Henning's Award Winning Cheese, Golden Home Ultra Thin Pizza Crusts, and by Lashbro Aerial Images. Hey, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin'. Boy, it's rib today. Oh, I'll tell you what, gonna be a good day today. Freddie, like ribs? I love ribs, you know that. How many, you got? How many ribs do you got? <laughs> <laughs> They're all there. They're all there. They're all there. there. Freddie's a rib king now, man. Yeah, he is, I'll tell you. That's all he talks about, cooking some more ribs. Well, we're going to be doing uh, ribs. There's four different ways to do ribs on the grill. You got your baby backs, you got your St. Louis style ribs, yep. and you got your full side ribs. I got the full pack, the full side ribs, and then Merrill's going to do some country style ribs. The way some it country looks. style ribs. It's going to be some good eating today. Yeah, it is going to be good eating, you know. <laughs> and then uh, I'll tell you what, we have Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Uh, you can join us on Facebook. We have a great time. Uh, you can you can message us, and we have a lot of people message us this last week, as a matter of fact. And Henry, your dream is coming true. You folks and the guys at the End Zone Bar, no playing the jukebox during Mad Dog and yeah. Mary here. <laughs> hey, put those quarters away and those dollars away. Henry, we're gonna do. I've never done kohlrabi on the grill, and and so we're gonna do kohlrabi on the grill just for you, sir. And uh, let's get started with your ribs because they, they look like they're in the those, sun. Uh, I am too. I am too. That's it's interesting. It's it's all good. right, country style ribs. You know, yep. I love country style ribs, and there's so many different ways that you can create different types of rubs. But the day on a rub, we've got some brown sugar, we've got some chili powder, we've got some cocoa. 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 That was the name of my first dog, Coco. <laughs> you never told me that. Oh, we lived by the railroad tracks. That's the last thing we heard was, woo, woo. Jeez. <laughs> That's such a sad story. Yeah, what but, no, 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 How no, am no. I supposed to follow that? Oh, no, no, man. no, no. My brother and Coco went and joined the circus together. They had a dog act. <laughs> okay. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> now I became a doctor. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh. <laughs> well, who was the trainer? <laughs> exactly the dog. Rub. Then I got some of our garlic pepper here. <laughs> Usually I go use equal amounts all the time when I go ahead and make a rub. You know, we Absolutely. substitute the Coco. I could use like there again coffee. You could even eliminate those and just use these three. But I've got the brown sugar. You gotta make it sort of nice and sweet, give it a nice little uh, flavor in there. The chili powder, chili powder is just absolutely great. Cocoa, a lot. I tasted it, that's pretty spicy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cocoa. Oh, oh gosh, gotta be taking cocoa. So that's just cocoa. Just Nestle's cocoa. Nestle's Toll House cocoa on any night, man. Right. Toll House. And it's just plain old cocoa. Right, just bitter, cocoa. Bitter as can be. Yes, but, oh, but go ahead and take a taste oh, of that. Oh, hey. <laughs> Never try that. I've done it. Oh, I'm going to make some hot chocolate. Pour the milk and pour that in there. Oh, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> garlic pepper. I'll tell you what. I think our garlic pepper is the best. That thing, that thing is the bomb right I there. use that on completely it's, it's, everything. It's uh, sodium-free. It's heavy on the peppercorns. It's phenomenal. And you want to mix this up right really, here, really you know good. That? What's that, Freddie? It smells great over here. I know. I know. This is coming the through. The pepper with really comes through. We got the cocoa. Well, tell her, Robbie. <laughs> what are you going to call him? <laughs> I'm going to call him Robert now. That's better like it. All right. All right. Put those ribs in there, sir. Four to a pack, sir. Four to a pack. I'm going to scoop those yeah, in Yeah, yeah, you do the scooping. I'll do the scooping, man. Four packs. They used to call, they call Freddy Scoop nowadays because they got a new dog named Maggie. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a super scooper Now he's a super scooper of the block. <laughs> he takes care of everyone, all the dogs. Oh man, I'll tell I you what. play more in there if you need them, sir. They're really mixed up nice. Let's just oh take... heck, don't even need any more. No, you don't. Oh, you want to say Harry, like... you can make this in your coco tonight, All right, there, I'll do that. <laughs> save the save the rub, save the rub, ladies and gentlemen. Put in a plastic container, it'll last for a good month. So look at the way, beautiful, man. Oh man, look the coating that. on that, man. A lot of that's got to do with the cocoa on there. That really brings a, a nice uh, color on that. 
Well, obviously the chili powder too makes a really big difference. So <laughs> I hope it tastes good because that's a lot of a lot of cocoa. A lot of cocoa. A lot of cocoa. Okay. Good better. All right. Now I'm going to grill these actually direct. You could do them indirect, but I'm going to grill them direct, direct on a nice low low heat. Uh, I'm going to take them off at 145. You can go a lot longer than that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and brush some sauce and things on there. But some people will go ahead and just brown them all up, put them in a pan, throw some sauce on there. But I'm going to brown them up direct method of cooking on there. So uh, that should be like about you, 45 Freddy? minutes. Oh, it just has that sweet cocoa smell. It really does. And does even it though it's not sweet cocoa, it has that just kind mm. of neat smell Boy. to it. And the peppers in there are really good. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Boy, you want to taste that cocoa alone. Cocoa. Okay, kohlrabi on the grill. Parsnips, turnips, rutabagas, kohlrabis. Normally eat kohlrabis. I do. I eat them raw. Okay. How about you guys? You know, with salt, little salt. I'm not it? a kohlrabi guy. I just don't. I just really? don't. I don't know yeah. why. No, I have this odd feeling. I should do this before because I have this odd feeling that Henry, everybody has to peel your kohlrabis because they got a little bit of a. So we're gonna get these. We're sort gonna of rind thing on the. Uh... They, 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 it is. It's a protection. <laughs> you gotta have protection, Freddie. Yeah. Very important. Okay. Okay. Well, you're doing good on that. So we're going to take our kohlrabi. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I've had, I've had kohlrabi. I just can't oh, remember the last time Oh, it's delicious. Well, eat it raw with a dip, with a, with a uh, veggie dip. Oh, yeah. my goodness. So I'm I've never thought I'm about... impressed with that continuous peel. I the, know. Uh, that, that is really... That's because millions, millions of people are watching us right now. <laughs> so don't get nervous. Yeah. <laughs> don't cut don't your cut thumb, you for well, God's sakes. It'll be embarrassing. This is my little, new little German. Uh, wow, a nice knife, knife, man. Yeah, it's a very nice knife. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So he sliced his. We're going to quarter on. All right. And we're going to grill him direct method of cooking. And the way to grill kohlrabi. Now, he asked the question. He took his. And here's what he did. He took his kohlrabi, okay, and he oiled them. I'm gonna put them in a bowl over here. Yeah, makes if sense. If I put them in a bowl over here, can you get that, Mr. Cameraman? Thank you, sir. I'll be right with you. We're gonna add the kohlrabi in there. He took his and he added oil. All right. And he added grandma hazels. Okay. So two of the perfect little combinations. And he actually mixed them all up. And he wanted to know, Henry wanted to know, if I let those sit overnight, is it going to add any extra flavor to it? I say no because kohlrabis are so dense, like Freddie. Yep, yep, but it's pretty much solid. Too. And it's pretty much kind of solid. Kind of so we're going to take there. our kohlrabi right here, and we're going to simply put it on next to Merrill's MHP, because i got a big old rack of ribs going right there. And we're going to put our kohlrabi over here on a low direct heat, and we're just going to char those up for about 15, 20, 20 minutes. We don't know. We never cooked kohlrabi before. That's grillology. That is. I don't think and I've you ever know, had... Not everybody has a piano in their backyard, but that's grillology when it comes to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. That's true. Tell them we'll be right back. Hey, you know what? We'll be right back. Stay tuned with Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Kohlrabi. Brought to you by Mad Dog and Merrill and Fast Freddy. Another fine day, Freddie. Good job, sir. Good job. Hey, that was called floating down the cotton town. <laughs> floating down the cotton town, ladies and gentlemen. Floating down the cotton tail. So Merrill's got his country style ribs yes. on the grill. <laughs> They're Did you do anything good. different? What's that? What'd you do different to those while they were gone? While they were gone? Why, why, why they were gone? What'd you do to those? I'm gonna cook them and finish them up in direct method of cooking, sir. Well, I don't know how to. I'm not like quizzing you. I'm just saying, didn't you do something different? I did do something did different. What did I do? Over? You moved them over. I moved them over. Okay, yes, indirect I did. cooking. Uh, indirect cooking. No heat underneath. Yeah. I started them out, I did them direct, and then I moved them over to the side where there was no heat. Because Freddie was worried that his country style ribs were getting a little brown. Yep. Worried about his friends coming over, they're going to eat them. Yeah. That's all right, but they had brown sugar on them, you know. Yeah, that. that'll sweeten that. Yeah, that'll sweeten that cocoa right up. Yep, that'll be, be good. Okay, uh, uh, racks of ribs. There's country yes. style ribs, there's baby back ribs off the top of the, of, of, of the, of the, of the hog. And then there, these are these are belly ones. These are off the lower belly. Right exactly down here. right. Yeah, these, are, these are belly oh, you ones. Say belly, where and is and uh, these are the full ones. And then they take these, and I'll cut them open here. They take the uh, the full spare ribs, and they make St. Louis style by cutting off the flap. And the flap yeah. is actually the brisket flap. 
of the hog. No, that I did not know. Yeah, I always cut either. the top off of those when I make them, but I did not well, know. Well, you don't have to because I'll tell you what, I, uh, they're, they're delicious for like uh, shredding or making once you cook them up because that's a brisket flat. Yeah. So there is meat on them. Right. Yeah, well, yeah, I just yeah, yeah. put mine and cook it. Yeah, no, 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 that's the brisket I, flat. I learned some stuff on this so show. So in, in aroma things, we can tell you which is the head of the hog and which is the back of the hog by the brisket flat because the brisket flat, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this down here, Freddie. All right. That's just fine. so your dog don't get at it. <laughs> so now we got a, a brisket flap right here. Yeah. Oh. So okay. that brisket flap is is in front of the hog. <laughs> Makes sense, don't it? But it might be this way here, would be my guess. <laughs> so we, now we know left and a right for racks of ribs. Okay. With the whole spare rib. And they take this to cut off the flap and they got St. Louis style, and then there's a different upper portion that's the baby backs. Right. Okay, here we go. Okay. A nice little rub. Unique rubs. I never used malt. Malt is actually uh, uh, wheat flour and malt barley. That's what malt is when you have an ice cream. Right. Yeah, so this yeah is I love wheat. malt. This is wheat flour. So if you're celiac or gluten, don't eat this. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna take we're gonna take malt, and that's gonna be the base. It has some whey in there. <laughs> way in. Uh, 252. <laughs> way in. You're supposed to say, no way. No, oh yeah, no way. <laughs> so the way is going to sweeten that up, so it actually has protein in there, too. Pardon my finger. I, just I, love, I love that stuff, too. I actually had some over ice cream last night. Uh, oh. this, this is uh, 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 paprika. So I'm going to use a good portion of paprika on top of there. And we're going to add some grilling magic. That's our lower sodium garlic pepper bun, finely yeah. ground up. I have a little uh, dried mustard, uh, some thyme. Plenty. <laughs> and, and cayenne. Okay. And you know, a lot of people don't use a lot of cayenne. I mean, cayenne's really good for on everything. It and really it, brings it, it out cooks the flavor. Away. It cooks away. Yeah, it doesn't, it, uh, people yeah. think it's going to be too hot. I got hot. a fresh glove, so I'm going to mix that all up. And that's got the malt in there, which we all know is wheat flour and malt barley and soy. Interesting. So that's going to be our rub over the top. Now, normally we'd let this sit, of course, a little bit and absorb. Oops, so let me get my little malt out of the way. Um, there's that, there's that brisket that. flap again. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. Okay. I have a rack on here already right in the center cooking, indirect method of cooking. We're going to sear this up. All right. And then we're going to wrap it up with a little brown sugar or a little honey and some other great stuff. But we got to wait for a segment on that baby there. All right. Ooh, baby. So I'm going to put that on a good hot grill. And what I found out, I did, I stirred that one up last night. Uh -huh. That malt actually, you know how racks of ribs don't sometimes want to get brown for you before you wrap them. Right. Got, use malt. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff will, that stuff will br not burn, but brown really fast. I'll be done. What really, makes you was, think of that? You just out of your head, or just? I was work? hungry for ice cream and I had no malt. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering on that. <laughs> Now, plenty of sauces that you could go ahead and create. Obviously, we have our own sauce. We've got our hickory barbecue sauce. But I'm going to infuse the flavor. Oh, boy. Ooh, I love that oh, word. Love, you did you like that? that? Infuse it a little bit more. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, and there again, it's your own measurement, however you want to do that. But I've got some hickory barbecue sauce. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling Hickory Barbecue That's Sauce. Good. Got some in there. Mm -hmm. Flavor-wise on there, the W sauce. The Worcestershire sauce, I use the Worcestershire sauce. On a lot of things, a lot of different marinades. A lot of times, I like using a uh, balsamic Ooh, vinegar there. on there. Put some of that in. I use about maybe probably a quarter of a cup that I have in that. And then I'm going to put some seasoning. And you can use any seasoning that you want. Obviously, I'm really partial to our garlic pepper, which is really good. Is that how you're enforcing the flavor? That's how I'm enforcing the flavor. Oh. Then, sir. <laughs> Gotta use a little bit of red wine here. Whoa, red wine. Yeah. Oh, oh don't use, use the wine. whole thing. <laughs> no, geez, no, 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 not no. For... <laughs> That's good. <laughs> there you go, Freddie. Oh, baby. Oh, Freddie was all you. upset we didn't he make was, a drink. Yeah, I know it. Tom Collins. Sometime we're gonna do there. Okay. So you're gonna base those on. I'm gonna there. base well, he those, on. those on there. We have a lot of things yet to do in this show. Uh, so we're going to be right back. Freddie, Roll. that's okay. Just take your time. Mm. Is that a little really flush? <laughs> <laughs> How sweet it is.
What's your plan there, Freddie? It's called Kohlrabi. It's a Midwest green treat. <laughs> All right, there you go. I love it. All right. Boy, if, that, if that don't get Rod soon. <laughs> hey, Becca, well, your short ribs are looking great. Oh, they're looking. Uh, cut your beautiful. Cut your beautiful. Yep. looking great. Yep. I'm going to serve some campy on a garlic bread with these. This is very easy to go. They come in already frozen. Just throw them right on the grill. They only take a, toast. It only takes about three minutes on each side, really, at the most. It doesn't take very long. You can do it actually in a minute if you wanted to. Okay, too. here All we right. go. We got our racks of ribs. The racks of ribs are seared. If you have a gas grill and you want to know how to do ribs on the grill, uh, you take two sheets of aluminum foil, heavy-duty foil with this big rack here. With smaller racks, obviously, one heavy-duty sheet will work. We took our rub. We seasoned our rack of ribs, and that baby weighs, I don't know, that's about a, a six-pounder in my book right now. <laughs> and, and we're going to place that right in the center there. And here's what we're going to do, folks. I'm going to splash it with a little bit of Worcestershire. We're going to add a little bit of honey over the top of that. So we're going to drizzle honey. And I've noticed with these larger racks of ribs, they're less meatier, and they don't take quite as long when we wrap them to cook them on the grill. This is a little bit of our spicy barbecue sauce. Just mm. enough for a drizzle, oh, just enough good, for a though, flavor. Sir. They're going to be delicious, absolutely. Those should go well in Freddy's oven. And this gets folded over, that gets folded over, this gets folded up. Try not to break with the racks of ribs and break the, the seal. Those get put in your oven at a three, 350 for about one hour or back on the grill indirect for about one hour on a 350 oven. The kohlrabi turned out just absolutely gorgeous. That's, yeah, we, we stuck a bite on that. And really it is wonderful. Good. Here's yeah, the racks of ribs we did. Let's see what we got here. All right. Now these have been on one hour, I think, since we've been messing around with Mad Dog and Miro's grill in here. Let's see what we got. I got them double wrapped, triple wrapped. I don't want no issues out here on the Oh man, oh man, oh man. Let me get these off in here. What do we do with our my, my sheet pan? Oh, I was supposed to have my sheet pan, guys. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Everybody's gotta have a sheet pan. Alright, this is it. Yeah, oh man, oh man. Oh, oh baby. And when those bowl like that, and I've got all the juices in the world, I'm gonna take this and set this down below out of harm's way and Maggie's way, their dog. Get that right down there. And here, let me just show you. Now these 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 uh, these, these they got a, a rack across here that nobody, that you can pick off meat. The real rack of ribs is right here. So we're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna slice that baby off. We're gonna slice that baby like so. And honest to goodness, oh. there's a center oh. cut in there, but those turned out just absolutely delicious. They're nice and meaty, they're tender, they're wonderful. Those are the full spare ribs. Not, sure the, not the St. Louis style. No, I know. Not the baby back. Not the country style. But the full mm -mm -mm. wrap. The full wrap. How's your little bread coming out? That's coming along fine there, sir. So these get put back on the grill. You understand that? Those get cooked, wrapped up, a little honey, a little brown sugar. We used a little malt. It's going to be good. We're going to be right back to wrap this baby up. The kohlrabi turned out wonderful. Henry, you did a great job. Yes, suggesting he did. That. We do appreciate that. Thank you so much. We're going to come back and taste all these delectables in just a moment or two. Dun, dun. I'll tell you what, we've had a great time here today. Don't forget your little misting bottles if you're doing racks of ribs on the grill. That baby comes in handy. Put anything like apple cider vinegar and apple juice in there. I'll tell you what, Meryl, you've been lusting. This is the brisket yeah. part. That is the, the brisket part of that hog. And I think it came out just absolutely mm. wonderful. That's the boneless part, the brisket part. Right. And that oh. should be just delicious. Kohlrabi oh. turned out well. Mm. Meryl's Texas toast over here turned out great. Mm. Ribs look good. How's mm. that? How's that? How's that? Fl the flap. The flap's great, <laughs> sir. I'll take more flap. Well, this country style ribs. Are you doing okay? Yes, sir, I am. I'll give you one more. Good workout program. There. Look at them babies. Yeah, set that baby up there. The oh, bread came out man. good. About two to three minutes on each side. Exactly Always have to right. do. The kohlrabi turned out good. So I talked a little bit about that misting bottle. All you have to do is add a little bit, and every once in a while you hide from the in-laws. Yep, I hear so you. So you go outside and you just give little mistings of apple juice, beef broth, chicken broth, anything you want to add in that misting bottle, add moisture, add flavor to cut some meat, and it really does make a difference. Flavor is phenomenal. Flavor, the flavor on the brisket? Yeah. I bet it is. Let me give it a shot. Yep. Hey, folks, we've had a wonderful time here today. Freddie, take us out of this. Happy fiasco. grilling, everybody. See you next time on Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling.
Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.